Oh, well, nice to meet you. Well, Harley Jane, it's good to see you. I came on location with you all in Denton one day, but you were not there for some reason. I guess you weren't uh, involved in the shooting that day. Mm -hmm. what, what impressions did you carry away about Texas and Texans? Um, I had a great time in Texas. I, I, um, I particularly liked the weather there. I really missed the kind of... Uh, the, the exciting weather that you have there that we don't have here in LA um, and I, I thought it was a really beautiful place we stayed in um, we st I stayed in Argyle Texas which is right outside of Denton and I, I stayed in the most picturesque little place and uh, I found the the people to be really charming and uh, and it just it took me back to my childhood growing up in Nebraska Oddly enough, there's something about the terrain that's very similar, and uh, and just a, a much slower way of life, and you know country roads, and it, it was just it was very picturesque. It was a really nice vacation in a lot of ways from from my L.A. lifestyle. You were there from when to when? From I think I first went down there in April, and I finished in uh, um, June, I guess. Yeah. You did a. a daytime series called Texas. Yes, filmed in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you find the portrayals of Texas in that daytime series, uh, now that you've been to Texas, did you find that uh, there's no comparison really? Well, you know, the, I think that uh, we, we had some real stock characters in that, uh, some of whom were actually from Texas. There's a, an actress named Tina Johnson who is a uh, very talented and, and she's the real thing so she was the most you know Texas of our characters um, for the most part it was just a it was a uh, it was a soap opera so you know our our soap opera is indicative of real life anywhere um, I would say that that we took the the common perception of Texas and and sort of uh, emphasized it and got carried away with it um, I, I Texans are characters to a great extent, but a lot of people from Texas, you know, you, you couldn't place them from Texas. Um, I guess it's like anything else, you know, you, you have your characters and then you have just a, a lot of, you know, regular folks. Your name interests me. Is Harley a family name? No, it, it's a motorcycle name. <laughs> it's You've a, been asked this question yeah, before. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a name I gave myself are about ten years ago. Yep. Yep. Is the Jane your name? Yeah, that's my middle name, uh -huh. and Kozak is my real name. What was your first? My name? first name was Susie. Susie mm -hmm. Jane. Mm-hmm. And, and I uh, just uh, I changed it one day. A motorcycle went by, and you said. Yeah. Well, actually, there was a motorcycle parked in my living room. This was this was in New York City, and I lived in a loft, and um, it just uh, you know it just struck me, and I just sort of did it. I wonder, though, what kinds of reactions you get from agents and people that say, oh, come on with that name, or did you ever think of using another name, or what do they say? Um, most people d comment on the, uh, you know, they'll say something like, is your last name Davidson? And uh, so <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the most common reaction I get. And everyone who says it thinks that, you know, <laughs> they're the first person to to think of it and so you know I have to like come up with a, um, you know a, a sort of compassionate response to that which gets old after a while but I think you know anyone who has a any kind of unusual name sort of leaves themselves wide open to um, you know funny comments but for the most part people think it's an interesting name an unusual name and it's easy for most people to remember so it's a it, it's a good name it's worked well for me in the film, of course, you and Scott Bakula are the romantic interests. 
by any chance, were there more romantic scenes filmed than what we see in the movie? Um, there was, uh, I, I, I saw a rough cut two weeks ago. I'm not sure what the finished movie. I believe that there was one continuation of a scene that was cut because it was, um, for, for time reasons, and because our storyline is a little bit uh, incidental to the, the you know, the, the action part of the story, which at that point in the film was slowed down by our little, you know, meandering, taking a walk moment. Um, but mostly what you see is what you get. You, there's a lot of blanks you have to kind of fill in on your own. Well, Hartley Jane, I think Texans are going to really go for this movie, particularly in our area, because you had so much coverage when you were there making it. And I think uh, people throughout the country are going to get a big kick out of it. Good. I enjoyed it. I hope so. Thank you. It's nice to talk with you here in Hollywood. Yeah, nice talking to you. Hi. Hi, sir. My name is Bobby. Yeah, Hi, Bobby. Oh, great. And I came on location with you all one day, but you weren't there. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Well, Harley Jane, it's good to see you. I came on location with you all in Denton one day, but you were not there for some reason. I guess you weren't uh, involved in the shooting that day. Mm -hmm. what, what impressions did you carry away about Texas and Texans? Um, I had a great time in Texas. I, I, um, I particularly liked the weather there. I really missed the kind of uh, the, the exciting weather that you have there that we don't have here in L.A., um, and I, I thought it was a really beautiful place we stayed in. Um, we, I stayed in Argyle, Texas, which is right outside of Denton. And I, I stayed in the most picturesque little place. And uh, I found the, the people to be really charming. And, uh, and it just it took me back to my childhood growing up in Nebraska, oddly enough. There's something about the terrain that's very similar. And, uh, and just a, a much slower way of life. And you know, country roads, and it was just—it was very picturesque. It was a really nice vacation in a lot of ways from from my LA lifestyle. You were there from when to when? From I think I first went down there in April, and I finished in uh, um, June, I guess. Yeah. You did a, a daytime series called Texas. Yes, filmed in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you find the portrayal of Texas in that daytime series, uh, now that you've been to Texas, did you find that uh, there's no comparison to it? Well, you know, the, I think that uh, we, we had some real stock characters in that, uh, some of whom were actually from Texas. There's a, an actress named Tina Johnson who is uh, very talented, and, and she's the real thing. So she was the most, you know, Texas of our characters. Um, for the most part, it was just a... It was a uh, it was a soap opera, so you know our our soap opera is indicative of real life anywhere. Um, I would say that that we took the the common perception of Texas, and and sort of uh, emphasized it, and got carried away with it. Um, I, I Texans are characters to a great extent, but a lot of people from Texas, you know, you, you, you couldn't place them from Texas. Um, I guess it's like anything else, you know, you, you have your characters and then you have just a, a lot of, you know, regular folks. Your name interests me. Is Harley a family name? No, it, it's a motorcycle name. <laughs> it's You've a, been asked this question yeah, before. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a name I gave myself Are about you 10 years ago. Yep, yep. Is the Jane your name? Yeah, that's my middle name. Mm -hmm. And Kozak is my real name. What was your first name? My first name was Susie. Susie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I just, uh, I changed it one day. A motorcycle went by and you said? Yeah, well actually there was a motorcycle parked in my living room. This was, this was in New York City. And I lived in a loft. And um, 
it just, uh, you know, it just struck me, and I just sort of did it. I wonder, though, what kinds of reactions you get from agents and people who say, what's the name of that name, or is this like Sandra using another name, or what do they say? Um, most people comment on the, uh, you know, they'll say something like, is your last name Davidson? And uh, so that that's the that's the most common reaction I get, and everyone who says it thinks that you know they're the first person to to think of it, and so you know I have to like come up with a, um, you know a, a sort of compassionate response to that, which gets old after a while. But I think you know anyone who has a any kind of unusual name sort of leaves themselves wide open to um, you know, funny comments, but for the most part, people think it's an interesting name, an unusual name, and it's easy for most people to remember. So, it's a it, it's a good name. It's worked well for me. In the film, of course, you and Scott Bakula are the romantic interests. By any chance, were there more romantic scenes filmed than what we see in the movie? Um, there was. Uh, I, I saw a rough cut two weeks ago. I'm not sure what the finished movie. I believe that there was one continuation of a scene that was cut because it was um, for, for time reasons and because our storyline is a little bit uh, incidental to the, the, you know, the, the action part of the story, which at that point in the film was slowed down by our little you know, meandering, taking a walk moment. Um, but mostly what you see is what you get. You, there's a lot of blanks you have to kind of fill in on your own. Well, Harvey Dan, I think Pet Teachers are going to really go for this movie, particularly in our area because you had so much coverage when you were there making it. And I think uh, people throughout the country are going to get a big kick out of it. I yeah. enjoyed it. I hope so. Thank you. It's nice to talk with you here in Hollywood. Yeah, nice talking to you.